hello everybody uh, today I would like to give some information on load runner certification many of you know that load runner is a performance testing tool so if you want to do the certification in load runner you have to do you have to write some exams so let us see in detail what are the exams you have to write and where to register for the exam and before registering the exam what are the important details you require so let me just explain you so first to complete the first level of low tenor exam that exam name is uh, if you complete the first level you will get a, a, a certification name as AIS certification accredited integration specialist so to complete this level you have to write two exams so the first exam what you have to write is HP 0 M 48 HP load runner 11x software so you have to complete the first exam HP 0 M 48 and here I have listed uh, the exam syllabus and what is the pass percentage and what are the reference materials for this exam let us go through this in detail so to complete this uh, HP M 48 exam you have to uh, have a complete information you should know all the three components of load runner so as you know that load runner has three components so virtual user generator controller and analysis so now uh, to complete this exam you should have a you should have an experience on all the three components and you should be working on either one at least one project so the minimum qualification is they expect you to have an hands-on on one project so coming to the exam details it has totally 67 questions and uh, the item type might be multiple choice and drag and drop and total exam time is 1 out 5 minutes and pass percentage is 72 so and syllabus for this exam as I told you you have to know the complete details but HP has designed us a specific uh, syllabus if you see the syllabus here HP 0 M 48 18 percent of questions will come from load test planning and 11 percent of questions will come from load runner installation and 25 percent of questions will come from scenario configuration and 25 percent of questions will come from scenario execution and 21 percent from result analysis so it will contain all the three components and it is like you complete a one project and you will have some confidence in writing this exam so this is the first exam and reference materials for this uh, syllabus is listed here if you can see as you have some functional uh, specifications document like HP reference document we have 1500 pages we use a document and all the reference documents we have so out of that you can pick up some chapters uh, to review the syllabus like to complete the syllabus so these are the information on the uh, controller user guide and we user user guide and all this information for the reference materials of HP 0 M 48 so let me just go to the next exam so that is HP 0 M 49 so this is a second exam which you have to write to complete the first level so the second exam so the number of questions here is 63 and exam time is 105 and if you see the pass uh, per passing score it is 74 percent but it is specifically related to only Eugen. so only the topic will contain uh, everything related to Eugen. so you should be very rigorous or you should know everything about the Eugen to complete this exam so same way i have listed down the syllabus for this one 32% from script recording configuration and 28% from script playback configuration and 27% from script enhancement and 13% from advanced script and same way I have listed this reference materials to uh, uh, prepare for this exam as well so this is where these are the chapters which you have to go through to prepare for this second exam HPV user 
software okay hp 0 m 49 okay now let us come to enroll for this exam okay usually uh, previously we used to go to some uh, centers and we used prometric centers and we used to uh, book the book the slot to write these exams but now the process is completely changed so to enroll for this exam you have to go and create your provi profile in pearson so to create your profile in the pearson vue you should have an hp learner id what is hp learner id is you have to register with the hp that you are using so and so so and so tool and you have to register with that to create one id unique id for yourself so once you get that hp learner id with you you can create a profile in pearson vue and once the profile is created you have to activate it and you have to register for the exam so now we are speaking about two exams one is hp 0 m 48 and 49 so then you have to go to this particular link and book a slot and uh, book a slot for the H exam so once you are booking a slot you have to pay money for the exam so hundred dollars is a fee for each exam so you have to pay the hundred dollars fee and book a slot on particular date and you have to go and write you have to go to the pearson or to prometric center they'll give you some address where you are booking the slot this is only just for booking so while booking it will have you will have an option to select different locations like the centers so once your confirmation is received you can go to that particular prometric center and give the exam so now the enrollment is a little different than earlier first you have to register create a profile in this pay the amount and then select the prometric center go there and then write the exam so this is how the scheduling is little different and before scheduling you should have to create your learner id as well so if you go to myexpert1.com.fams so this is the url where you can go and create your learner id so once this is created you can go and book the slot in pearson bue so coming uh, for the uh, for the sample questions i have some uh, just one document for the sample questions of this hp 0 m 48 so if you know these details just do comment me i'll try to reply you for this so please if you have any questions on this certification you can ask me or you can uh, uh, ping me uh, you can just give a comment thank you guys